A website by the name of Viver contacted me to do a review of a product, and they sent me something, and it's here, so let's take a look what they sent. All right, let's get this thing cracked open, and uh, we'll take a look at this. So this is an endoscope, and the website was pretty, uh, pretty good in the description, actually. Um, gave a pretty good... Uh, um, amount of features on this thing and uh, I figured what the heck I'd give it a try I need one and let's see what it says so. alrighty so it's it's kind of interesting that shipping box there but uh, um, I guess that's the retail packaging or maybe they don't have it I don't really care none of that stuff matters to me uh, instructions uh, Seem pretty standard. Looks like it's in a couple of different languages here. So, eh, let's just take a look at it. All right. Okay. Well, okay. Give you an idea. That's an iPhone 14 Max Pro. Pro Max, whatever. So I'll give you an idea of the size of it. It's pretty, pretty good. So got some little rubber nubs on it. I guess it is battery powered. Let's see if they sent one over. Oh no, it's not a battery. It is a little stand. All right, cool. Dig that. Uh, feels kind of sturdy. Um, let's see if we can. Uh, it's in the bag here. There's really not much to it, I guess. So much for a grand unboxing of a bunch of stuff. Uh, little clips to hold it. Um, oh, that's an SD. Or let's see here. Oh, it has an SD card in it. Some of the 32 gig SD card, that's kind of interesting. Uh, which means you can record. That's kind of cool. That's what the, uh, that's what clips to hold in the uh, lead for the camera. So, cool, all right, we'll figure this out. Uh, the camera in looks pretty standard. Let's see how that snaps in there. I guess that's a USB-C, so it's... Alright. So let me do this. Let me charge this up, and then... Uh... Oh, I guess it is charged up. Just took a minute for it to power up. Boy, that, uh, that image is pretty clear. Um, I've got a couple of these small, cheap endoscopes and that's probably one of the nicer uh... okay All right. I mean that's looks like it's a 1080 so not bad I guess but I like the uh... I like the brilliance of it um, should have a light on it Oh, yeah, there's the light. Yeah, there's the light, so... What's the camera mean? Ah, I guess it's just snapping images. And then those are the images I just took. Alright. Option here to delete it. Or delete all. There we go. There we go. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's go dig around in the uh, uh, engine for the GMC and uh, see what we can see what it looks like. So very impressed with this thing so far. Especially how clear that picture is and being as portable as it is. That's kind of cool. All right. Let's power this thing off. Look at that. Cocky. Alright, let's go to, uh, outside and check it out and see how it works. 
let's take a look at the video and the images I drug over and uh, see how they looked out. Um, images aren't bad. Um, I think part of it is I need to figure out uh, and actually read the instruction manual, figure out how to actually uh, focus this thing because I think it's got a little bit better way of focusing. Uh, but uh, yeah, not for, for what it was right out of the box without having any uh, prior knowledge to it and, and being a typical guy and not reading anything, just going out and playing with it. Um, not bad. Let's take a look at this first video clip. Yeah, same thing. And I, I think it's like anything else when you use an endoscope, uh, you have to kind of reference the camera uh, to a direction that you understand. And that's kind of what I was struggling a little bit with here is what I need to do is send the camera in um, at, a, uh, at a point where I knew where uh, straight up and down was and that way I wasn't you know fumbling around with uh, trying to twist the thing around in there but that's a user operator that's not the the endoscope's fault it's uh, 100% uh, just a little tip on on using one of these things but yeah the SD card downloaded very easily to my computer um, I think that's an mp4 file that it came over as or mp3 I'll have to take a look and see uh, but yeah um, for for not uh, not doing anything other than just uh, shoving it in a few places. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, battery life on this thing isn't bad. I, I think I probably had it on in total for maybe 20 minutes, and it's just now starting to tick down on the uh, on the power bar, so I don't know how much it's uh, supposed to last, but I'll take a look that up and, and see. But, uh, yeah, quality of the video and the image is very, very trick. Um, very, very nice. The... Uh, uh, the camera button is easy to operate. Just hold it down for a few seconds and it'll start the video side, but uh, very cool. Let's take a look at the website here. So, Viver.com. Uh, again, don't know much about it, but uh, uh, in one of these banner ads here, there it is. That's what I ordered. Website's laid out kind of nice. Uh, but let's uh, let's take a look and see what uh, they said about the product. Graded lens, adjustable brightness. I guess we'll have to figure that out. Uh, waterproof, oilproof, large screen. That's for sure. That that is a nice, easy operation. I think we figured that out in about 2.5 seconds of that. Uh, I guess it does say it comes with a, uh, a 32 gig uh, card. Yeah, it's got an IP67 rating, which is pretty good. A lot of off-road lighting and stuff will raid around that area so uh you know should be good under a little bit of water anyway i don't know how much i trust that but uh huh yeah no i'm uh i'm thoroughly impressed everything that they say that this uh that this thing does or is supposed to do it certainly does okay let's take a, look, a couple of other little functions here that i forgot to show when i was out there so the camera um, has got side cameras on it. So you got the front facing camera that you're seeing now, and then you can switch camera angles. So if you're buried somewhere and you want to get a, a forward and then a left right view of something, all you need to do is click the down button. And it'll show you the left side camera. And then it'll show you the right side camera. Now it's inverted when you do this, but you can turn it and now you can get a really good uh, side view as well when you go back to the front facing camera though it is upside down but just got to click it again very very cool um, I like that feature a lot because there's sometimes where you're in a very narrow spot and you can't turn the camera left or right and it's a little difficult sometimes with you know that type of deal where it's just kind of a straight in and you're kind of going around some tight corners or whatever so Having a left-right camera on there is a pretty cool little feature. I want to show you what I have been using. This is a very, very inexpensive camera that I got off of Amazon several years ago. And you can tell right away, um, the quality of the picture isn't that good. I'm 100% certain this is not gathering uh, video in 1080 uh, like the other one is. Um, it, it does an okay job. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it uh, will do mostly the function you just don't get the clarity of it you can't record anything uh, off of a unit it has to be hooked up to a laptop which is again okay but if you're in trying to lay underneath the vehicle or uh, you know get down to uh 
you know, into an area that's kind of tight, whatever, and you're trying to uh, focus on something and, and look at a laptop screen, uh, it's a little cumbersome. So the only benefit to this type is is recording live onto a you know an OBS or a, a recorder or something on there, but it's just not. <sighs> Now looking at the two of them side by side, um, the only benefit I guess that I see to this one is having the, the big screen in it, but uh, having the little small four and a half screen uh, on the Viva is not a bad one because it just, uh, um, you know, you're going to download it over to the computer anyway. So anyway, I just thought I'd uh, show you this one and, and compare the two. Uh, there is really no comparison, but if I remember correctly, I think this were about 20 bucks on Amazon. So um Again, just uh, want to give it a little comparison side by side. So that's the Viva Endoscope. Um, yeah, I I'm kind of at a loss for words. I, I, you know, typically with uh, product reviews like this, there's always quite a few little things, details that you know aren't quite up to standard. Um, things that I don't like, but uh, this one kind of checks all the boxes. It's a very very clear picture, easy to use. The side cameras, uh, being able to snap video. Um, and uh, images very very simply smaller little handheld unit very nice long lead I had about a week to play with this on on quite a few different little things uh, took it to work uh, with me you know used it on the you know inside the uh, engine bay of the Silverado the GMC truck obviously and I'm pretty blown away by the quality of this thing for the price that you pay for it um, it's really kind of a nice deal. There is an affiliate link to this and a, uh, a coupon code or a discount code for 5% off if you order one of these. Uh, I think when this one came from the time uh, I ordered it to the time it arrived, it was about four or five days, something like that. It wasn't that bad, so, um, you know, pretty quick. And I, I, they had these in stock uh, last time I checked. So uh, if you'd like to order one um, and you get one, Leave some comments down below and tell me what you thought about it. I'm, again, I'm I'm very very happy with this thing. It's going to be a nice tool to go in the toolbox. Um, I, I'm very unaware of this brand, but uh, if that's the quality of tool uh, and product that they're putting out, I will be shopping there again for sure. So anyway, if you got any comments on this one, don't hesitate to leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions on use and and any of the other functions but the website's got quite a bit of information on it and uh, uh hopefully uh hopefully you'll get one of these things and uh, you'll have a good time with it as well anyway we'll catch you guys on the next one we'll see you